to tell you this story, I need to introduce to you a new character in my life. I try to keep some parts of my life private and off YouTube, but this story wouldn't make sense if I called this person a friend I know. We've both talked about it and she's okay with me telling you that, guys, I have received the highest milestone a YouTuber can receive. A girlfriend. Who I will be calling for the remainder of this video, GIF. That's right, I have a girlfriend now, so you can stop asking if I'm into guys. I mean, I guess I could still technically be into guys, but please stop asking. Dang, I got muscles and a girlfriend now? Man, even I'm jealous of myself. Now, to get the elephant in the room out of the way, it's not Jaden, and it never was Jaden. And it's not the elephant either. The elephant broke up with me because I kept calling her an elephant. I know that the internet likes their ships, but let me just say this once and for all, it's not okay to ship real people that have their own lives and relationships off of YouTube. Hopefully this is all obvious and you're as grossed out as much as I am, because some of you don't seem to mind that we're all real people behind the screen and it can be really damaging to our personal lives. <laughs> So getting things back on track, one day during quarantine, me and my girlfriend were feeling lethargic and a little sad, as one does in quarantine. We had both bought Disneyland annual passes and were planning on going to the park every single day of 2020, but the timing could not have worked out more horribly, and I still don't know if I'm getting a refund. I'm not, aren't I? I had one friend tell me that something he did to cheer up was that him and his gif drove down to the beach and had a picnic in their car and they just relaxed and watched the sunset. And I thought that sounded fun and tranquil as shit, so me and my gif decided that we too were also going to visit the recently opened beach and be tranquil as shit. Obviously, we were going to wear masks and stay six feet apart from everyone, including each other. In my head, I was imagining we would just find a secluded area and we would watch the wet, white, watery waves wash westward while wondering what weather we would want. What? So that weekend, we packed up our beach supplies, sandwiches, and our doggies, and we started our hour-long journey to total tranquility. Floof gets very excited whenever she's wearing a leash, and in car rides, she has this energy like, Yes, we get to go somewhere! I wonder where we're going! While Gift's dog, who I will be giving the fake name of Floof2, is more like, I wonder where we're going. Our journey started out smoothly, and there were no problems for about 45 minutes. But I wouldn't be making this video if the entire trip was all smooth sailing. All of a sudden, Floof 2 starts going... <coughs> which, if you own a dog, you know that means things are about to go down. Or rather, things are about to come up. And emotions and cleanliness are about to go down. So Floof 2 threw up all over my GIF's leg and on the car floor. We quickly pulled over before anyone passed out from how bad it smelled, and we used the napkins we packed to wipe everything down. We put the throw-up napkins into a sandwich bag, which now became the throw-up bag. A minor setback, to be sure, but we were still determined to relax and have a good time. But I wouldn't be making this video if the entire trip was smooth sailing minus dog vomit. As we kept driving, we were all a little tense from the unprompted dog regurgitation. But I had a solution to ease everyone's mood. Since we were on our way to the beach, I played popular beach music like Surfin' USA. But by the time we got to California Girls, Floof 2 started going... <coughs> and I mean really going. Like, West Coast representin' going. And Gif put her hands up like... Oh, 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 oh! Floof 2 puked two times in one 60-minute trip. That day, we learned that this California girl has unforgettable motion sickness. It's undeniable. I don't want to go into too much detail because I have to draw the details, but let's just say that Gif's hands were pretty full. I held open the throw-up bag and Gif dumped the second round of puke from her hand into the bag. Also, we were out of napkins because we weren't expecting to have to do this two times, let alone one times. So Gif had to drive the rest of the way with her hand held up like this. We entertained the idea of Floof 1 licking Gif's hand clean, but after some debating, we decided that doing so would be gross. After two dog pukes, we finally got to the beach and saw that it was very crowded and most people weren't even wearing masks. I considered throwing the throw-up bag at them, but after some debate, we decided that we still might need the throw-up bag. Fortunately, we didn't have to debate if going in was still a good idea because as we pulled up, a deputy sheriff was closing the front gate. The beach was at full capacity. 
Do not lose hope, Biff, said my gif, for I shall find a closer spot within a jiff. For looking at my phone, you see, there is a beach within a mile or three. End of line. So we decided to try another beach, but when we got there, it was already full and blocked off. Maybe if we didn't pull over to clean up dog puke, we would have gotten there in time. But now that I'm thinking about it, it would have been impossible to relax at a beach that was at full capacity in the middle of a pandemic anyways. The good thing about Cali is that the whole edge is a beach, so we could do this all day. I looked on my phone and found another beach 15 minutes away and we headed off. I suggested that we stopped at a Walmart parking lot or something and wash our hands and recoup, but my unnamed Jif was determined to wash her puke-stained hands with the salt water of the Pacific Ocean. We pulled up to the third beach, the parking lot was empty and closed off, but there was still a clean handful of people already there. The beach wasn't even close to capacity, so we could definitely find a secluded enough area and finally relax. And clean up this dog vom like, ew, dude. If you're wondering if this beach was closed and these people were just ignoring the closed signs, we thought so too. But there were lifeguards out, so I guess the parking lot was just practicing social distancing or something, I don't know. We had to park the car pretty far away from the beach and walk the rest of the way. And as soon as we stepped out of the car, it was Floof One's turn to wreak havoc and she dropped about half her body weight and poop onto a grass patch. I don't think this day would have been salvageable if I had to catch that in my hands. Speaking of crap, Floof Two looked like crap and probably wanted to go home. Meanwhile, Floof One was still, Yes, I was holding that puppy in, but now we're at our destination. Could you just... You're being a lot right now. It wasn't the best car ride, but whatever, let's just not think about it. We're both in our flippy floppies, carrying our towels, sunscreen, and unbagged sandwiches, ready for a nice, relaxing day at the beach, only to walk up and see the worst possible thing that we could have ever seen possibly. No, it wasn't a beached whale or my ex-girlfriend. What we saw was a sign posted at the entrance, that was only three words long, but those words were no dogs allowed. Floof One was the only thing happy in that moment, unbeknownst to her that she was half the reason our trip was ruined. <laughs> this sign won't stop me because I can't read! So, what did we do? Well, we ate our Sammies on a bench, near a beach, with our bitches, and we had nothing to wash it down with since we used our water to wash our hands and we couldn't drink from the ocean like we originally planned. And then we did what we in the business call, give up. We drove back home empty-handed, thankfully. Both floofs were sacked out from the day, even though they did literally nothing other than push bodily chunks out from both ends. I love both of those dogs, but I'm not bringing them back to the beach ever again. Not like they're allowed anyways. There's not a happy ending to this story, we were both very upset. But sometimes, our most memorable trips are the ones we spend with people we love. And sometimes, life's a beach. Well hi guys, it's me, the Odd Ones Out. Now you might think that, hey, this guy sounds pretty different, and I'm not. I just ate some Vegemite. I know I glossed over it in my actual video, but please don't actually ship Jaden and I. We're both very good friends who are living our own lives, and seeing people make posts about us and really going into detail about it is a little awkward. I think you should only ship people if you know that they're both okay with it. Like me and Mars, for example. You know, we're both okay with it. Oh, and thank you for all the support on Cafe Chaos. I recently played it with my friends and I think you guys are absolutely going to love it. Major thanks to my team, because without them, this video would not have been possible. Make sure to check out their socials either on the screen or in the description below. If you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and head on over to my own channel, The Amazing. Uh, uh, sorry, I mean, The Odd Ones Out. Alright, laters, and stay a uh, wear your seatbelt. Wear your seatbelt. Yes.